Hey, all my gardening friends. Hope you guys are having a great day. And I just thought I'd make a quick video on uh, one of my purchases, but can anybody guess what's in there? That used to be our pool, which is now covered by snow and ice. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a long winter, so hopefully it won't be that cold. It's a temperature here. It is two, two degrees, so that's Celsius. So I guess that's like 35, 36 Fahrenheit for my American friends there. And for you Americans who don't see snow that often, there you go. Yeah, it's not, not pretty. I guess, I guess it's pretty if you don't really see it, but for us Canadians, it's people live in the north, it, it really sucks sometimes, especially on a day like this because it's really wet and damp. So, but yeah, anyways, this is the plant I wanted to show you guys I got. This is called a mangabe. So I went to a nursery the other day and I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick up some agave for the garden next year and uh, plant it, overwinter it too, because they're pretty hardy. And then I came upon these two uh, twins here. These are called mangave. So basically it's a hybrid between a manfreda and an angave. So yeah, what you got here is characteristics of uh, a manfreda and agave. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the super fast growing of a manfreda because you know agave is a very slow growing and um, you get the hardiness of a uh, angave so people in uh, you know zones seven eight and above can probably grow these uh, successfully outside even the winter time but I personally have never heard of these until a few weeks ago and uh, so instead of the agave I had bought the mangave so yeah, it's a, it's a hybrid cross, So, and, and it's only been recently discovered in, I think it was uh, the 1990s in Mexico, where accidentally um, uh, farmers were growing agave on one side of the field and uh, manfredas on the other, and they somehow pollinated, hybridized, and they found a couple of uh, seedlings growing and realized that it is a hybrid from these two. So... Um, this is uh, uh, the Kaleidoscope variety. Um, There's so many out there. My God, you just got to go on YouTube or <clears throat> Facebook or whatever, and um, you, you'll see a lot of these and people talking about them. This is relatively new, so um, really, really interesting plant. I, I can't wait to put this out next spring and over winter. I have a great spot in my garden, and... Uh, between these two, I'm thinking of putting a needle palm, so complement it. Um, they they can take drought, they can take quite a bit of rain, as long as it's fast draining soil. Um, it's just the the characteristics of these uh, mangaves are, are awesome. I mean, you should try to grow one if you don't uh, even know about it or try to get one. There's many varieties. This one is, uh, I told you, the kaleidoscope, so as you can tell, the camera doesn't really do it justice, but it's just a kaleidoscope of colors, basically. That's that's the name. Um, even though these two are the same, this one has less of a color. Um, uh, once you expose it to UV light, the colors just really pop. So I, once I get this out in uh, the spring, it's just going to look awesome. So just a quick video, guys. I thought you'd really enjoy these uh, these two plants here that I got. And try it. It's called the mangave. And uh, look it up, do your research, and hopefully some of you guys can plant plant it in the spring or plant it now if you live somewhere warmer. And uh, share your videos. It would be awesome. I can't wait to put these guys in the ground. Have a great day, guys. Thanks again, and Merry Christmas. All my love.